Yo, man, y'all know the vibes. It is Smooth Lifetime. We are back with one of them things for you guys. As y'all know, we did just get a new car. C7 Z06, you feel me? And if you remember from the last video, on this one, we will be already installing mods and parts for this car already. So we do have a couple things that we got to replace already. Nothing bad, though. Ooh, yeah, fresh light. Nothing bad, though. Just like an uh, air filter. We got to install... My AFR gauge, that has to come in the mail also. And we also ordered a couple other things for the back of the car. I can't tell you yet, but this is about to get a lot meaner. Real soon, real quick. But first things first, we have to actually go find a filter that that is like direct replacement for this one because, let me get uh, going here real quick. Going to my daily. I can, I can show this off though. Oh. There you go. You feel me? But let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. This is your first thing up under the engine bay. Up under the hood, the engine bay. What am I talking about, y'all? But as you can see, boy, this thing is scrunched up so bad, nasty, dirty. So we will be getting a direct replacement for that right now. Problem was, I ordered a, a Canon filter that I thought was a direct replacement. But let me walk all the way to this room. But this is not the direct replacement because it's the pain in the filter, but it is too short. It's not as long. And I, it'll work, it's a five inch, uh, I'm not taking it out of the box. So it's not a direct replacement because the Canon, the, my bad, the Quartz uh, five inch filter from uh, course performance is it's a five inch inlet, but it's a, it's seven inches like in length. Mine, the one I bought from K and N that that came in today, is five inches for the inlet, but it's also I just leave my phone, but it's also only like three inches or six inches tall. So auto parts, but wow, I feel like I'm out of breath. Nearby store in Bellevue, not in stock. If y'all can see that. Not in stock, but stock nearby. It's one an hour away. So that's where we're going. We're going to make an hour job just for intake instead of waiting two days to order it. So let's go ahead and get to where we got to go. My life, I want money and power. Respect my mind, low and die from this. I pray. I'm tweaking, I should be playing uh, Kendrick Lamar. I'm a J. Cole fan. I know y'all seen that Kendrick Lamar uh, diss that verse on uh, on uh, Future in them album. And I'm a J. Cole fan. He said, bruh, he said, uh, it, you know, fuck that big three, it's just me. So, instead of Drake, he just Drake and Cole. But Kendrick, man, I can't, damn, this dude on my ass. But Cole, though, man, he better come back because Kendrick boy, ain't playing no games. We gonna do some real vlogging today, man. We made it to Advanced Auto Parts. Hopefully they got this k and uh, filter in there, hopefully. Shit though. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. What you got going on? Looking for a filter, a k and filter? K&N, you got the number? Uh, I, I think I got it right here. I know it's a five inch in inlet. No. Or oh, part number is RU. There we go. So we made it back. As you can see, this is the one I bought online. This is the one I had to go get. You can see the difference in the size. They're both five. Oh yeah, that came off. But they're both five inch inlets. They're both five inches. But this one is a little bit bigger and taller. And a little bit more of a surface area. A little bit more of a bigger filter than that one. Which this is the one that's on the quartz five inch intake, which I'm pretty sure it is. 
because I thought this one was, but this wasn't big enough, so. Update, neither one fit. Neither one of them fit. So, I just wasted 35 minutes of my life because neither one of these fit. This one or this one. All I had to do was look here and the code, the fucking shit is right here. Y'all can see. Fuck. Somewhere down there, bro. But yeah, so I'm putting this dead one back on. What a waste of time, bro. Fucking waste of time. So it's the next day. Hello. So it's the next day and look what came in the mail. So we're gonna forget them two filters, bro. Getting the wrong filters, but we got a big package in the mail. Hopefully y'all see my address. But let me fix my hat, but I look goofy as hell. Here we go. But this is my wide band, so let's go ahead and unbox it, see what's in here. See if they gave us any stickers, first of all, because I never heard of this brand. But Ryan, for, uh, it was his, uh, I don't say prescribed, but he recommended this because the AEMs have been going bad and giving false readings and going crazy, the sensors, I guess. So his professional recommendation brought us here. So it's like a, uh, Dang, Af AFCON, hold on, I'm gonna just go ahead and set y'all up right here. Actually, y'all wanna sit in the car? I'm gonna let y'all sit in my car. This is the one time I'll let y'all sit in my car. The one time I'll let y'all sit in my car. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. So it is the It is the Ballinger, Ballinger Motorsports AFR 500C Air Fuel Ratio Monitor. Monitor, hello. Monitor. Dang. Oh, that's not how you open it. It bit. It better be some stickers in here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Big thick John. Big thick John. We got some wires. We got some wires and the OBD2 port extension. So I can send my other. Uh, you see it? Hold on. It's right there. So I can send my logs remotely over a uh, email line. A remote tuner. What is this a magnet? A screw? I'll show you how all this came. Uh, what is this? I'll show you guys inside of the box. Look like in here. Uh, I dropped this. I don't know what that is, but put you guys back up. Tuning manual, setup manual, which we're gonna be using these. And this itself, let me open it. Oh, I almost dropped it. This is the actual, it's gonna be right here. This is the top of it. So yeah, that's unboxing for this uh, wide band. We're going to go to my friend a boot shop for so he can install this. He's going to install it like really well. I believe in him. He's probably the best guy to install this for me. So we're going to get this installed. But we're going to make a pit stop at my friend Samaj's house. Mode is even loud. Every time I put it in reverse, it start leaking. Uh, 
What is that? Is that the AC? Is that the AC, bro? <gasps> Look at that. I hope that's AC. Yeah, because it wasn't leaking before. Uh, I'll put it in reverse and start leaking. It don't smell like no lemon seed. It smell like water. I think it's just from. I think it's just from the AC leaking, bro. Oh yeah. Let me go in here real quick. See what it is. Why I keep not focusing, but yeah, this bitch is a bad boy though. But I don't know what the name of, bro. Damn. Nah, ball. Stop hating, white man. Them cheap ass shits. Bitch ass nigga. Hold on. Hating man. <laughs> Hold on. Oh god, nigga, quit hating. Man. Hey, quiet. Ain't no fucking way. Yeah. That's quiet. That's loud. That's quiet. Nigga, ain't this supposed to be for the mirrors? Yeah, it's this. How did they do that? It's this. But I can also do it like uh, with this too when I put in sport and tour. But hold yeah. on, cut, the, cut this whole back off again. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm gonna record this whole off. Cut the car off, nigga. I got you. Boy, what the fuck? <laughs> Motherfucker sound nasty, nigga. Yeah. I'm gonna record this on IG, man. Let me start it or what? Yeah, man. This that motherfucking real deal, nigga. Man, that shit crazy. Hey, this this is a real vet. Go ahead and crank that motherfucker, man. This a real vet. Nigga, none of that sorry. It's just a recording here, yeah. But, you know, you know what hold it when we got angry going there. Yeah. You hear me? Hopefully that. It might spin a little bit, so. Car is ramming. You so sound disgusting, nigga. Man, that nigga. Let's talk about, man. Let's see what this whole talk about, man. Nah, that's why I said I don't give a fuck. Cause you the busy man. Oh, let me go ahead and give y'all a little tour. I done brought the car in and everything. I gotta take the shit out too, but. My boy shop, I don't know if y'all, new viewers are not going up, you feel me? Twin Turbo Mustang in here. His Evo, gonna be super fast. His C6, you feel me? That's super fast, you can tell by that already, you feel me? That's a Grand Sport, but it's Pro Charge, heads cam. Don't know what that is, I do. Type shit. And tell me this ain't nice. Yeah. Matte black, GT500, red accents on the chrome BC4 just. And guess what? We BC4's brother, because if y'all don't know, then BC4 just too. But yeah, man. Beautiful car. My dog about to put this AFR gauge in here though for me. AFR gauge in that thing for me, so we're going to see. Here's the box of fucking goodies. You wanna put these tires on? Sure, fuck it. What they, uh, uh, wait, uh, aren't they flat? Huh? Did he send them with air in them? Flat. Okay, okay, okay. What do you think, I'm gonna echo press right here? No, nah, I'm saying, I just hope he didn't send them with air in <laughs> I don't think he's allowed to. This is what's standing between me and getting my car remote tuned. The, the fucking stability track will keep going away. It won't stay. It'll, it, I'll, I'll scan it. It'll, it'll be a stored code. Type shit. Oh, should we raise it or? It's the. See? That's the bearing. It's the bushing. Oh, bushing. Yeah, 
They don't have that much life left on them. Mm -hmm. uh, look right there. That's the yeah. wear mark, see? Yeah, I see that. Barely. I mean, was that like... Like... Four burnouts? Like, four burnouts? Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. No! They're hoosers. They don't last long at all. Yeah. I just replaced these with uh, Mickey Thompson's. Uh, if you want to get a good tire, proxy RR. Proxy RR, yeah. Like an old man reading. <laughs> You don't have to destroy your interior. Hey, shit. That's why, that's why you come to Abu, bro. Abu, as Samaj would say. But yeah, I'm going to let him start that. I'm going to get back to y'all. And we should be able to start remote tuning soon as I get this thing. Because I can send him a base file or my tennis on now. He can start making my base and then we can get right to it. I'm probably driving it. It's like, yeah. Carbon ceramics. Yeah. <laughs> Guess. Guess who has C7 is growing on him? This guy. Who also has this. So yeah. It has it? I gotta see. Oh, you can't go bad. This shit is low. Man, this bitch is <laughs> on hydraulic. <laughs> You feel me? So he just now finishing up down there doing the, the Lord's work down there, making sure to... I don't even know what I name my Z06 yet. I don't know the namer. Blue, I don't got no names for Blue. I already told you, Dory's not going to work. That shit sound corny. But he just down there doing games to work, zip tying everything up. But I'll show you how the AFR gauge works. It's a new one. i never seen that one before. Use these AAM, but it's like Badger, Banner, AFR, some shit. Some shit that Ryan recommended, like I told y'all earlier. It look sick, though. Listen. video tonight. Hey there, boy. It's a bud. <laughs> the master here with Tyrell Jr. the second. Is it recording? Yeah, Ty is recording. We just got this dud done. <laughs> Let's go take a look at it. I'm a vlogger now. It's better making the YouTube. Boo autograph, y'all tap in. One stop shop. This car is gapping Tyrell's car. Possibly. Yeah. Not possibly, definitely. I don't want to do one sock, I want to have some extra players to it. You don't want to do what? Like, I want to do my plate, so like, for like. What color are we doing? What color are we doing? Oh, huh? we doing? Yeah, oh I just wiped out of it. Wildberry. Wildberry, but a little, we're going to add a little flair to it. That's gone. Hmm? It's better make the cut into YouTube. No, right there you go, look. Uh -huh. I, I'll put it in there. That color. Just show the Porsche? Yeah. That's nice. Type shit. But on the low, the low ass, bit like this. You keep the roof black, make this black right here, this area. I'll put you, boy. Or we can do satin black. No. Type shit. You use ceramic coat in this too? Yes, sir. It's gonna be a fucker to clean.
Alright you guys, it is about three days later than when I started this video, bro. No cat, I ain't gonna lie, I've been busy. And we had a couple, well, we had one major issue with this car. And yeah, everybody did say you buying a build car is gonna have some problems or you're gonna take over the owner's car problems you probably didn't know about. But we had one big issue. You'll see throughout, after we get to talking about what happened and how everything got fixed. Hopefully it's fixed. I can't promise anything, but I got a couple good friends that work on cars that got their own shops that know what they're doing and are good at what they're doing, so I appreciate them for sure. But let's go ahead and get over everything first of all. I did, I couldn't record so much because at one point my camera was dead and I forgot it at home on one of the most important days this week. And also we are going to start going to the car Monday. Should be Monday, so the video for the end of the week or next week. Should have me remote tune my car. I can't wait to show you guys that process. I did it on my Z01, the same tuner. Great guy, Ryan Cunningham, BRC Works Works. But that's gonna be in the next video, next couple videos actually. But let's talk about the serious problem this car had. So let me go ahead and pop this. I don't pop this hood some of the time. I think I pop this hood more than I pop my Z01. I have been doing it almost two years. Had this car for probably a week now. But y'all can see, this is how everything's supposed to look. Everything's supposed to move in there. See that, how that's tight. Let's go to the other side. See how this is tight. Doesn't move. Those are my coolant lines, or radiator lines that go toward the supercharger. From, from heater shredder auto to the ice tank in the back. If y'all know the ice tank auto in the back, in the trunk. But, I'm gonna insert clips on what it looked like two days ago. So I'm going to insert them now. And yeah, y'all saw that. And I'm gonna show you what resulted from that, bro. It was crazy. It took me like three hours myself to find it, or well, two hours really. But this is what it resulted in. Is insane. That's scary. Y'all don't know why I always had to put one up under the car when I started stopping places. This isn't happening. Like my whole thousand mile drive home didn't happen, and I knew something was wrong because the pump in the, in the uh, expansion tank in the trunk was mm, mm, easy to hear, like the water flowing. But I was like, mm, I'm like, bro, something's wrong. And I looked, and it was empty. And I was like, bro, where did all the water and the coolant go? And I called my friend the boo. I was like, bro, my, uh, my truck is empty. My truck tank is empty. He was like, huh? And I was like, yeah. I was like, maybe. And I thought maybe you just had to circle through the system. He was like, nah. <laughs> he was like, nah. And I was like, what do you mean, nah? And Brad had told me that cooling up just go anywhere. It's leaking somewhere. And I'm like, that didn't make a little bit of sense. <laughs> so I started the car and I looked under. And that's when that video, you see everything just pouring down. So, yeah, I got the car up on my ramps and stuff, and I looked in there and started, and I seen, I was like, damn. And it was better, because I was smart to put more coolant in there, so it was more orange than clear water, because I thought it was just my freaking uh, AC just leaking. You know your AC after a while, when it's hot outside, out of condensation, it starts leaking, you feel me? So I thought that was leaking on the ground. But no, once I realized it was orange coolant, I was like, fuck. I know something was separated, something was broke, but turns out, <laughs> when I turned the car on, which I think it got worse after I started messing with things, this was backed off, this was backed off, and this little plate here was broken in half. And it was just spitting out coolant. And what was the dead giveaway? I don't know if y'all can see, but in there, damn, did this turn off? In there, see how it's orange? That was the dead giveaway for me. You see, it's drying up now. It was harder to tell because it was burning off because that you know it's the, it's the block. 
the engine was just burning everything off, so I couldn't really tell, but I knew it was orange. That was a giveaway. So your boy did, I found it. I partially fixed it, but my boy Boo 100% fixed it with the, he welded a new clamp, and I'm sad I couldn't record this, because I didn't have my camera, but he put a, he welded a new clamp that was both sides, I would say both sided, that was able to fit both of them. This is his that he made personally, if y'all can see that, that middle clamp right there. And we gonna compare that to the one, I think this probably came with the system, right there. See that clamp right here. So, he made his own. He did a good job, I'm not gonna lie. But I think that was probably the worst thing that could come from the, well, let me not say it, I don't like a wood, let me fuck. <laughs> don't worry about this mess back here. Let me not go with it, bro, because who knows what happened, but it wasn't a hard, like, crazy, like, thing to happen. Was able to get it fixed. We're done. Should be start. Everything should be good for remote tuning. And that stability check is coming on. I can't find the, where the loose ground is at. These grounds, one of these, out of these is connected to the module that, I guess, regulates the... Uh, Stability tracking and power steering, and these are all tight, so I don't know, y'all. Maybe I don't know, honestly. Maybe this is not a good ground, but I think it is. All oh, these are good grounds, so but I'm able to still turn traction off, and power steering doesn't go away, it just pops up. So whenever I hit a bump, I guess something wiggles. We don't know what's wiggling now. It's a good stress reliever, though, because I was when I say I was like. Stressed out for now. I was like, damn, bro. I bought the car, drove it out of the home. As soon as I got home, that one started acting up. I guess that was already happening. Just over time, all the shaking and all that backed off that screw and then backed off that line. But yeah, that's just really everything that I had to deal with, to be honest. It was sick how he made that. I wish I could record it more. But I am planning on raising the car, putting the 18 back on, because it has 18s with a. Uh, some Hoosier DR2s on there. They gotta cut some life though, so that that be couple races and then put some Mickey Thompson's on there. Between Mickey Thompson and Toyota RRs, uh, you guys will know. But also, we did get some more goodies in the mail. If y'all can guess what this is, guess in the comments what y'all think this is. Guess in the comments, <laughs> extreme online storage for the diffuser. Cause the worst part about this car is so nice, it's, the car is so sexy, is, just a big, just nothing there in the diffuser. Nothing there. So we're gonna tastefully add some fins to that, little shark fins, little, 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 uh, little decency to it, make it look nice and more aggressive. And that's what those are. And we'll, we'll be installing those sooner later. I just ahead of time. I'm feel like taking the bag apart right now. You feel me? But yeah, hopefully it's enough for you guys to honestly understand what's going on with me and with the channel. I didn't drop. I didn't drop last Thursday, but we, this video will be going on going Tuesday. She was dropping this on Tuesday. But yeah, so far, so so far so cool. The car does not hook on nothing. Like, this this Kumo ACR tire that's on Vipers, supposed to be good. Maybe it just had a trip, but, or it's too cold here, but I put it in Sport. The different little traction system, it, it, it lets a little bit more slip go through and that bitch went right, left, right, left. And I had to die my car and scared both the shit out of both of us out. So. No more pools until after we get the like, real pools so we get the Hoosiers and all that and get the trans tune. It should be a lot quicker, a lot faster. Hopefully we do a 6130 after everything gets dialed in and we're ready to race this year. It's a lot of people. That's been, If y'all understood, bro, I don't know why people talk crazy, but I guess the Intimidator is a nice car. I don't know. Haters, I don't want to label people that, but that's what they want to be. That's up to them, but we were ready to race this year. And I'm gonna be the real tiger. I ain't gonna be the little watered down nicely. Cause I, I got some proof for people, so yeah. I got I got the screenshot. So yeah, we so it's gonna be a good a good racing year. I can't wait to show everybody. I can't wait. I got all the cameras for y'all. If y'all didn't know when I had the Z1, I had I got 360, I got three other GoPro, so and I got this camera too. So should be a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed this, this update. Hope this update was thorough enough for you guys to show y'all like what I had going on. Stressed a little bit. Keep you guys updated because you are part of Smooth Life fam. Now I'm sorry for it being like the ball being everywhere back and forth. I just was trying to get a little bits and pieces, but at the same time, it was just too much going on. And I don't have a cameraman, so 
Make sure y'all tune to the next from the next video. The next video we should start remote tuning. I might make that a two part. Who knows? It might be quick. I'm only going not not running ninety three. I don't think I can run the ethanol. I know I figure out my inject my injector. <laughs> Excuse me. I know I to figure out my injector duty cycle whatever. So see you guys on the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Happy for you guys on this new life. I'm gonna try the Z06 one more time if you knew. This is my C7 Z06 head cam. A little little sneak peek under there. I haven't showed too much up under there, but. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the video. See you on the next one. Let's move lifetime. It's out.